Hey guys, it's Ellen here, and today we're painting a fun and loose little house on the hill, watercolor, and a little bit of gouache to create that bright white -ish blue kind of flor florals that are on the greens. We're going to be splattering paint, we're going to be pushing paint around, we're going to be scraping paint. This is a very fun tutorial for a beginner who wants to do like a fun, you know, floral meadow with the house. Um, like I said, I'm going over there step by step. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Also, um, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed and hit the bell notification button to know my tutorials up. And also check out my Patreon. I have ad-free videos, traceables, exclusive tutorials on Thursdays. And on the top tier, I have a live stream and a download from me. So it's a place people go and support my channel, which I appreciate so much. Um, you can check it out right up here in a second. Boop. And yeah, well, thank you so much. So let's get started with painting the house on the hill. Okay, so I'm gonna go with my supplies. I have a piece of seven by 10 inch cotton, 100% uh, cold pressed paper from Arsh. I taped it down on sc with scotch tape on just a thick piece of cardboard. My paints, I go with them as I use them. Pa uh, paper towels, water jars. Brushes, I'll be playing around with my Princeton the Neptune series number 12, number 10, maybe number 8. And then I have my Princeton 4 long round. I might use my 8, but those are the ones I've been playing with. Um, i going to just draw a simple little house. I kind of sketched it in early, but I'll show you again. So basically, you know, rectangular shape. See like here, this is a rectangular shape, right? Then you have a slanted angle here for the roof. Go across, slant in here, and then you're doing like a triangle here and come down for the side of the house. And then we're just going to put some windows. There's a window here. There's a window here, kind of on the top. All right. And then a little doorway. It's a little farm here. You can add another window too if you want to add something on the side. If you want to add a um, fireplace, you can do that. I'm just going to erase some of this marks that I've made. I'll keep it simple. You know, can we add a, a walkway kind of here? Basically, it's like a house on a hill, you know? Put some other hills back here. Kind of like a little shed in the back here. Whatever you want to do. You can put a fireplace kind of on top. If you're going to put that, you're going to have to put like a little the side also because it's you're showing the side here. Hope you can see that. Okay. So like again, the rectangle. Chapazoid kind of roof. There you go. There you go, like that. And I'm just gonna do some lines kind of going this way. And we're gonna concentrate on painting a lot of stuff here. You know, greenish foliage and really the house is just a small little thing. I'm going to erase all those marks so I don't have to see them. I'm going to keep the house white. You can make it a color if you want. We're going to play around with just adding greens and blues. So I have my Princeton Neptune number 12. Get some water on it. I'll grab my ultramarine blue. Nice blue color. The sky. And I'm not going to paint the whole thing. I mean, you can if you want. I'd add a little magenta to this. I have Kodakoda magenta. I'm just going to paint this pretty blue sky. Just going over here like this. I really just want this loose, free kind of picture. Yeah. Like I said, you can go to the edge if you want. I might go to the edge in this one. I don't know. We'll see play around with this. I'm going to the edge. Doing it. I'm going wild. I'm leaving this like white area here because I'm going to add some green foliage behind it. Okay. And then here. Then I'll add some deeper blue. You can add some more magenta too. I want a little bit of purple in there. Go back with some ultramarine blue. Just play around with this, with the sky. I want to keep it bright. 
Oops. <laughs> Just really kind of bright tones. Might add a little more blue up in here. I'm not really going to put clouds in. If I wanted to put clouds in, I can just take, again, take take your brush, tap that, get the paint off of it. Let's kind of move it like this, manipulate it, put it back on the paper towel, and then you have some clouds. Right? I got that wet and damp. And if you want a little bit darker, you can add some Prussian blue to this and go a little darker on top. You have a bleed by lifting up the paper. And bleeds down. Just playing around the sky. I'm going to add a few more strokes that are darker out here. Okay, that's good enough for me. Now we're going to work on some nice pretty greens. So cut my cadmium yellow deep. I'll put some over here too. Because you know I'm going to make these greens dark and light. I'm going to grab my peacock blue. Woohoo! <laughs> it's a nice like turquoise kind of green. But we want to make it bright yellow green. So a little bit of this blue to this. And you get this bright yellow green. I'm going to grab some more yellow paint. I want to mix a good amount of it because this paper really soaks up the color. I'm going to need to mix up a good amount of this paint. All right, in here I can just add some Prussian blue and some burnt umber and make a nice deeper brown, meaning green. All right, still using this good old brush. Just going to wash in some of this bright green in here. going here, I'm adding some water. So it was wet on dry. It's going to go up in here. I'm going to add some more water. I'm going to push this paint around on the bottom here. Um, you can just take your brush. I got yellow in there for some reason. I don't know why it's still there. Grab some of this green and then kind of just move this paint over this way. I'm going to grab some of that and move that out here. So the little walkway kind of white part right there. And see, it's just going to stop because there's no water down here. So you can leave it like that. You can clean up your brush and kind of push the paint on the bottom here. You want it to go down below. It's going to kind of wiggle my brush like this. Going to grab some of this darker green, kind of put some up over in here, and then up in here, and then up and over in here. Going to mix another darker green using this the Prussian blue, burnt umber, cabin yellow deep, and less water. Again, and I can put that bright green again in here. So you're just bleeding in some color. Just kind of pushing it around. Showing it who's boss. Put in some of this dark green here. Just like that. It's nice when you can hold it up like this and you can have it bleed down. You see those little spider? You can even spray it with a water bottle and have it even bleed more. See, now it really bleeds. What? <laughs> and then you can take your clean brush, kind of soak it up. Again, go back in and add, just playing around here with some paint and some color, some paint up in here, maybe some brown. I think I might have made that too dark, so I might lift it up and go back in and grab some yellow and then put some of the dark colors down in here. Laying it down flat so it's not bleeding downward again. All right. And then down here, like I said, in the bottom, I'm just going to clean up some of this. Now I'm going to make some more greens and put them out here in the field. 
lighter next to the dark one I just did. And even more so, I can grab some more yellow. Or I can grab some, you can make it a turquoise kind of color if you want. I'm going to grab some more yellow. Yeah. Now around the house, I'm going to add some trees. Just be careful not to paint the white part. If you have masking fluid, use that. Um, I just I keep forgetting to order some. So we're just going to put in this flat green color that's really bright and fun. And then we're going to bleed in some of the darker colors. Right? Let's put that all around the house. There we go. There'll be trees around here. I'm going to take a smaller brush now. I'll take the Princeton 10. I'm going to mix up some nice dark green. So I have the peacock, the yellow, the Prussian. Getting a darker green in here. I'm just going to take the brush. I'm just going to tap in the color. Let the paint do all the work. Right? Can add a little more blue. Mm, a little bit of this brown. So I'm just kind of tapping in the color here. And it will bleed. I'm not going to do it everywhere. I'm going to put some over here that's dark. A little bit down here. And over in here. Grab some yellow and some brown. Makes a different color of green, but not as dark as that one. See, like a medium. Again, oops, I cut my roof a little bit. Mm -hmm. So we got the trees kind of growing here. And I'll grab some of this color and I'll go like this. Differentiate the ground from the trees. See, just kind of tapping in the color there like that. Up over in here, I'll add in some deeper green. This is just a loose, fun painting. Add some yellow, maybe a little more brown. A yellow ground. And I'll put that out here. Hey, you can make that a color too. If you don't want to have a green, you can have like a purple color. All that fun stuff. So I'm kind of liking the little spider things that are going here. You might want to kind of go in and add some blues or some other tones too. Put the brown here. Doo -doo. Just kind of tapping it because it's so wet. It's just going to bleed. You can even have a nice, nice pretty gray. I will just change it even more down in here. I'm just going to tapping around, see? Did, 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 did. Some of the areas that I want darker. Grab some Prussian blue. I'm just going to tap that. Make this area much darker. Just like so. Still going to keep that road light. I'm going to put some more dark color over here. So I've added some Prussian blue, mixed with some of that burnt umber. Just kind of tapping it. Getting close to my house. Got that pretty green. Just kind of wiggling at my brush. You see? <laughs> Okay, so we did all that. We can add some more darker greens also down in here. It's still very damp. I'll play around with adding some greens. I'm just going to do some dots. I'm going to squint my eye. I'm going to add some dots because I'm going to have these areas dark and add some flowers and whatnot. 
right? And you can take your smaller brush than before. Take this dark green paint. Make sure it's not super watery. Let's start doing some lines of flowers or grass. Now here it really just blended real lightly. You can just go back in and add some more color if you think it's too light. Because that's really showing up. So a couple little tricks. We can add some more paint color. Come down in here. So you just kind of wiggle in some more paint color in here. And we can use a credit card and scrape up some nice um, grass lines too. I'm just kind of pushing around the paint color again. Don't be afraid to move things along. I'm going really like quick like this too. I dried off my brush, trying to get that dry brush look. Just kind of wiggling this paint around, get a little bit darker paint, get a little brown. We're having fun with this. See that one just bled everywhere, which is fine. Once it starts drying, you can get more concentrated where it's gonna where the cowl will land. So adding some of that deeper green. And see it's starting to dry, so you can start to put in just patches of that deeper green in places. Swipes of like the brush, the grass. Just like this. Grab some Prussian blue, some brown, just swiping it like this. Some big old grass streaks. I know, crazy. I'm gonna put some dark color up here, like a swath. Just to differentiate the hill. And again, I'm just taking the tip and I'm just kind of pushing this paint up here. Ooh. Getting a little wild with my brush. And at this point we can also see how it goes with the credit card. Take a old credit card or cardboard or whatever you got. Start scraping up some. The white will stay if there's not enough paint to go into it. If it's too if it's not it's damp, if it's super wet, it's gonna go right into it. Make this fun little Um, you can also use a skinnier thing, like I have this pen tip. Just scrape it with that. Little scrapes. Just play around with it. See, you see how this was really wet and just cut right back into it? Just having fun making these scrapes. Getting a little wild, a little crazy. <laughs> You could try and do a little bit back here. It's going to be tricky with the card. You might have to use something smaller, like that nib that I had on my pen. Or um, an X-Acto blade, because I think the credit card's just a little too big. You can kind of get some of the trees in here. Not much. I have to go back in and actually use some color. All right, so now we got all this going. We can actually add some fun paint colors. Lift up some of this yellow. We still have some green over here. So like purples, ultramarine and magenta make a beautiful purple. Right? You can try and see how the color looks. Just kind of tapping in. If it's bleeding a lot, you're gonna have to wait till it dries a little bit. If it's still bleeding a lot, I would recommend grabbing some white gouache because it's a little fun trick. Now you could splatter it and that would be fun too. So we got this white gouache. It's going to water it down a bit. Not super wet. And then it's going to 
it's going to dry so light you're not going to even notice it. I'm just going to flatter it with the... You know I love to splatter. See, you can see little ones, little dots, big dots. If you want to cover the top half, if it goes up here, uh, just grab, grab an old piece of paper. <laughs> A white piece of paper. Here we go. Just so it doesn't go up there. Just splatter it. Gotta love that splatter. It creates so much fun. And it, if it's bleeding and it's still wet, it's gonna dry translucent and that's gonna create a really pretty effect. Right? So we've got that pretty white splatter, which I love. Just like simple. While that's doing that, we're gonna go concentrate on the house. So I've got this medium tint, I'm sorry, neutral tint color here. Oops, move that green on my brush. It's kind of like a bluish gray. I'm gonna water it down. And you can just fill in the roof with that color or we'll make the roof brown. I think it's a little too light. I might add more dark tones to it. So I might grab some black wash. I love the black, black wash because it just, it's more intense of a color. See, I'll just bleed that into it. Um, you could have made it brown. You didn't have to make it gray. Just taking the number four brush. I want to keep the, the house mostly white. And then I'll paint the windows. Simple little windows. The side of the house wouldn't be white here because it's in the shadow. And grab a little bit darker tint. Just going in here. So that would be like really light gray. Water that gray down. And then you would put this nice tint of a pale gray on the side of the house. And don't worry if it's not perfect looking. It's just fine. And that little side shed. Get a little bit darker. Just like that. And then we can add when the roof is... And that would do like... If the if you want the fireplace to stay white, do the gray on the side of that also. That's why you have a small, tiny brush. Let me zoom in so you can see. So you see I put the roof and I'm just doing the sides here. But this house is, you don't have to make it perfect. It's just the background noise. I'm going to make the roof a little bit darker, more like a black roof. You can keep it gray or you can make it brown, just so it stands out more. And then I would water down the gray and add some of the gray just under the roof over here and next to the window and the doorway and I get this a little bit darker still and here and if you want to add drill details like small details of siding you could do that or brick it's gonna add some detail having it come out this way in the window it gets a little bit darker uh, and then the Fireplace. Just kind of outline it with the deeper gray. Just this house is going to be just minor. Again, adding a dark color here, and tint on the side. Nothing special. We could add some purple, blue, gray color a little bit over here. Okay, and now I'm going to add some more green. 
up in here, like the little bushes, next to the house. Just take the little brush, kind of wiggle it, and spray like a grass in front of it. So I'm going to zoom in again so you can see. See, just making these little grasses. Like the overgrown bush. And then I'm going to push it around up here. And then I'll grab some of my darker greens. Just like that. And the road, just take your burnt amber. Maybe mix it a little gray. Water it down. And put the little road in. And we'll add in some shadows in a bit. So if you have your dark green, again, just going to go like this with the brush. See, it's grasses, pier grasses. I wait till the road dries until we can put grass in front of it. We're just going to do grasses like this up in front of this one. over here. Just taking a small brush, just pushing up those grasses like that. Woo -hoo. Take your time. Grasses. Just grabbing your greens and going up. Now if the road's dry, you can just go right ahead and go over it. We're going to add some color to that too. I would add a little more browns. Let's tint it up a little bit more up here. Maybe add some purple the shadow going across like that. The road. And then again, adding more grasses. <laughs> I know you're adding and adding and adding, but that's kind of how it goes, right? We can add some really intense ones like this. We're going to add some flurs. So I'm just going to keep adding these grasses. Some brown, a little bit of black. Just up over in here. Just trying to get a little more intense, the color, and the grasses. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. I want to play around with all that, the colors, the grasses. So I'm adding more darker greens, as you can see here, a little more brown, dark green, brownish greens. You can go next to those nice white lines you made. Just make some nice branches. We'll add some flowers to these. So I'm adding in some nice dick colors. Again with the grasses up here. Da -da 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 -da. I feel like you're going to be doing this a lot with your paintbrush. It's going to be worth it though. Getting some blue and the green. There's kind of no fast way to do this. You're just going to have fun just taking your brush and pushing all the color up. Oh, yellow. A little pigment of yellow got in there. I kind of like it though. Let's just move that around. Yeah. Why not? All right. You can actually take some nice bright yellow like I'm doing here. Water it down, add some green, and just kind of put that color in here. See, I'm just really loose, kind of wiggling the paint around. Even after I put those grasses in, it's bright yellow. OK, at this point, you can add in those pretty purple colors, the pink colors. I'm just going to go add some of this bright yellow. I really like this yellow. OK, 
can't stop, right? <laughs> okay. That's that. Um, I would grab, you made it purple. So now that it's dry, you can go in and add just these purple dots. Um, you can add some gouache to that to so get a light purple. Because white gouache to the watercolor will just, boom, 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 you're just going to do these little dots. Or you could splatter it. Um, splattering is a little bit easier, a little more fun. Let me grab my other smaller brush. Again, you have to put that white paper on there if you don't want to splatter it everywhere. It just becomes less, you know, not serious, but like like you're trying too hard with the paint, um, tapping it with one brush. When you're splattering it, it has a little more natural kind of look to it. I'm going to add some more ultramarine blue. I'm really liking that blue. So I just mix a little gouache with that blue. And you can kind of concentrate it in an area. I did a splatter one recently. It was kind of fun. Then you can go back in and you can add, you know, the bigger blooms with your brush. Flowers, if you want it to make it look like almost like delphinium. Tap, tap, tap. You know, wildflowers. This is a fun, simple landscape. I think some more of the gouache. Boop, boop, boop. Don't want to overpower with too many colors. Gonna add white gouache, the ultramarine blue here. Get some nice light blue. It looks like the Verdier blue that I have. I'm just going to tap that all in up here. And tiny ones up here. So when you get up to the top here, you just do little teeny ones. Little teeny ones. See? I got that light blue. I'm just going to tap little teeny ones. You can add a little more ultramarine. Now I just added just a teeny bit of white gouache to this. I'm going to add some deeper blue. So you get a couple different tones of the blue as you keep adding the blue color to the gouache. I kind of like the blue with this chartreuse green. Just kind of tapping it up here. Some more white. Woohoo! The focus is kind of like going like this in a tunnel, right? So as you grab your white, mix with the blue, I'm kind of having it geared towards going up the road towards the house. Little teeny ones up on the bush by the house. It's like a field of these Almost like a field of cornflowers. You know, squint your eye, tap your paint around. I don't want to get too much paint in there. I'm going to grab some more white. I'm just taking some of the white gouache, just kind of pushing it around this colors that we did down here. Especially because I don't like that magenta tone. I'm going to keep it lighter. So I really just want to keep in the like blues and purples. See, just going like that. Okay. Just about done. When this dries, I'll add a little more white up here. It's kind of blended in here, which is fine. Okay. So it's good to step back. So I've got my little bushy hill tree. If you want to put some, um, I'll just take my black and do like little tree branches coming off. 
back here. Let me zoom in so you can see. So I'm making little tree branches. Just a little black. And do back here too. You have to put it everywhere. It gets a little too much work. Again, I'm going to fix this roof a little more. And put some tree branches here. Crisscross applesauce. Once you get the branches in, you want to go back and tweak it and add some more greens. Like this, just little taps. Little taps so you get the little leaves. This is the number four brush. I would leave some up here too, so. Just like that. Sometimes it's good to hold it on its side and kind of like wiggle it like this. And you get that look the same way without having to try so hard tapping it. Kind of roll your brush like this. Roll. You see that? And then I'm going to do that down here a little bit. Roll the brush. Roll, roll, roll your brush. <laughs> Yeah, it's a little metal house. I feel like it's a little still, a little too white. I'm gonna grab that gray tint. A little darker here. And put some more of the gray over here. It's not so white. It's always good to step back. I'm standing up to see if I like it. Yeah, it's kind of cute. And the intensity of the flowers have, have kind of waned. So I'm going to grab more of that white gouache, mix the blue, and then go back in and just add that. It's kind of like faded. If you want it more intense, you'll have to wait till it dries and then go back in and add it again. See, going in here, kind of blurred in here, which is kind of nice, it's kind of atmospheric looking. Add some little dots up in here. I kind of like that. So it's just a little house in the hill. <laughs> Again, you can actually take the gouache too and add it to the yellow green color and just brighten up the trees here a little bit. I'm adding a little yellow. See, I'm just kind of tapping the color around. Tap, 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 tap. Just in sections where the sun would kind of hit it on the top of the trees and on the side here. Maybe a little bit of color here. It'll bleed a little bit. That yellow is still very damp over in here. Shocking. But a house in the meadow. Here I'll keep, keep it still dark a little bit. And again, you can still kind of play around with if it's still damp, adding in with your credit card. But don't fuss too much, you know? I didn't do the whole thing. I just did this little concentration here. Again, you can go in and add. I'm standing up so I was looking and I was like, hmm, it needs a little something over here. So I'm adding in another deep green. Kind of just pushed around in here. A lot of bleeding going on, so kind of use it to my advantage by putting in some blue green in this section and then you can tweak it with adding some grasses again see I'm going to add some more grasses like right here very very concentrated color so I can do that again I'm just adding in some deeper greens right up in here underneath the color just so it's just pops out that lighter color 
if you're adding deep color right next to the white, it's going to pop it out. I'll clean up my brush. And that's about that. I might just add in a little bit of purple, the shadow in here on the road. But I think I'm satisfied with that. You know, the house on the hill. <laughs> yep. I'll wait till it dries to like lift up the, the, um, the tape. But again, like I said, play around with my a little more color up here. It's good to stand up like I just did and see if you like it. Play around with the, the this, this is the back mountain area. I might feel it's like a little too dark. I can go in and take it up with my paper towel. Just a little bit of the paint. And then since I have that white gouache, I can go and edit some, some of my greens, my yellows, and lift up the color a little bit, just to change it up a little bit. Right? Yes. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. And then again, you can just put the grasses up on top when that's done. Right over it. I hope you enjoyed this fun little um, watercolor tutorial, a little house on the hill. <laughs> Play around with splattering paint, scraping paint, washing paint, dapping paint. You know, have fun with this. This is what you're supposed to be doing. You, you could draw that little house on the hill like I did. Very easy. And then you add little tweaks. Bright color here. The leaves. And, uh, just little things like that. Just changes it. That's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Take care, and I will speak to you soon.